Rich in history, legacy, and intrigue, the Rico Woodbine Mile is one of the world's top turf challenges. The competitors all vying for the lion's share of $1 million and a chance to advance to the Breeders' Cup Mile. This year's edition brings eight grass racing specialists to the E.P. Taylor turf, and while the punters muse on good value long shots, one name will remain bolded. She is Teppen, the prolific winner of seven straight graded events, second only to California Chrome in the North American Thoroughbred rankings, and no stranger at the Breeders' Cup World Championships. But look at Teppen! Teppen! Oh, she was huge today! Both Phillies runs on late for a second, but Teplin and Julia LaPeru have dominated the Breeders' Cup Mile. She'll go back into the fray against the boys this Saturday, coming off a formal trip to the UK, simply ceremonial in victory, and the Grade 1 Queen Anne Stakes at Royal Ascot. But it's Teppin in front, being chased by Ballardo. These two dominate the finish of the Queen Anne. Teppin, Ballardo raising an effort near the line. Teppin pushed out though, wins for America and lands the Queen Anne. Ascot was the stage for the 2015 Fred Cowley Memorial Summer Mile, won by Arod. And Arod and Andrea Atzani run rings around their rivals to win the Summer Mile. The Irish bred makes his North American debut in the Rico Woodbine Mile, reclaiming his earlier form after a sickness proven by a solid third place finish in the Dunbar Celebration Mile at Goodwood. The Kentucky bred, formerly France raced, full mast, has made a nice transition to North America in 2016, raising the Judmont flag in his debut appearance at Belmont. He followed that up with a fourth place finish here at Woodbine in the King Edward and a hard fought third in the Lure Stakes at Saratoga. It is Shining Copper in front. Here's Full Mass, Jay Gatsby on the outside. The three of them are coming down to the wire together. Oh, it is very close. Very close between Shining. Don't count out Glenville Gardens and the claiming genius of conditioner Sidatard. Last October, the four-year-old son of Street Cry won the Labib Stakes at the mile distance and currently sits on a three-race win streak, capped off by a victory in the Grade 2 Play the King Stakes. Glenville Gardens got the lead and Glenville Gardens and Conquest enforces the top two. Glenville Gardens! Glenville Gardens has won! Passion for Action was a game fourth in the Play the King. The Ontario bred is aptly named. Facing adversity at the top of the stretch in the Highlander Stakes on Queen's Plate Day, he proved he's dedicated to the cause for trainer Mike DiPaolo. Passion for Action right over the top. Passion for Action's hit the front and Passion for Action in front has won the Highlander Stakes a neck. Mr. Owen has returned from the British and French ranks to renew festivities in his second attempt at Rico Woodbine Mile Glory. He'll look to build on the improved form from his last outing. His last win was the Prix de Torgeville at Deauville, the same win he hoped to build off in his first appearance at Woodbine. Also making his second bid for this Saturday's Turf Classic is Tower of Texas. The local hopeful is coming off back-to-back -back seconds to rival Glenville Gardens. He employed strong late rallies in the Play the King and an allowance race that just missed by a nose back on June 29th. And now on the outside, Glenville Gardens and Tower of Texas. Glenville Gardens and Tower of Texas. Glenville Gardens the winner. And Mutakayev makes the transatlantic trip to Woodbine for the first time and his foes should take note. The five-year-old British bred has never finished out of the money. He's enjoyed a fantastic summer against quality competition. With a little more daylight and deep stretch of the Group 1 Judmont International Stakes, he may have fared better than third. Prior to that, he was a dominant winner of the Fred Cowley Memorial Summer Mile at Ascot. Mutakea with 100 yards left to travel, beginning to stretch away here, drawing clear on the run to the line, and Mutakea wins the Summer Mile impressively. Ladies and gentlemen, the field for the late summer turf classic, the Rico Woodbine Mile.